Hello team, my name is Taliban. Welcome to Pioneers. Did everybody bring their snacks? I brought my own mint ice cream, which I've been craving all day. I'm super pumped about it. So, I downloaded this game a while ago, and I was very interested in trying it out, because it, it looked like a kind of, I'm afraid of nuclear, I can do it. I am the one who discovers. Begin. I'll pick the hardest difficulty, because it just sounds super cute. Dearest father. When you shall receive this letter, I have long been on the seas, headed to the new world. I remember fondly when I was young, and you took me for a hike in the nearby forest, teaching a young boy to read the valuable signs of nature. I then knew I wanted to go and explore the world. There is much to see and much to do. You encouraged me and told me I would go down in history. I shall not rest until I have seen what lies beyond the horizon, as I am curious. They say each journey begins with a single step, and I am ready to take the first one. I shall board the city to Odlin very soon, a town of many explorers, to gather some fine men to accompany me on this dangerous journey. I am grateful for the gold you have provided me to help get started. I am accompanied by some very interesting people in this trip. Moresby, a seasoned hunter in Dakota, a very friendly spiritual man from whom I have could learn a lot. Looking forward to the travel. Father, I will make you proud. Continue. That's a nice letter. Ah, it's super cute. Old-timey texting. The captain of the Chatlin Athena and the passengers are conversing on the upper deck. The wind is slowly picking up speed and slacked ropes clunk against the hull of the ship. And that's how I killed the bear rather brazenly, said Moresby as he finishes up another of his hunting stories. Most fascinating, Mr. Moresby. Surely you have kept a trophy of that adventurous event, replies the captain with faint interest in the discussion at hand. Oh, indeed, good sir, I carry the claw of the bear with me everywhere I travel. It has brought me nothing but good luck on my voyages. The kind-spirited indigen... Indigen... <laughs> Dakota is clearly upset upon hearing this. Not raising his voice, he says, Nature, to be commanded, must be obeyed. What? Surely you don't believe this utter nonsense. That is quite the sort of witchcraft I traveled here to get away from. The snarky tone of Moresby does not pass to Coda by, but he seems unfazed. During his years with living among these people, he has come to accept their rudeness and sometimes unpleasant manners. Everybody quiets down for a moment. Wanting to break the silence, the captain turns to you and asks, How about you, young fellow? I don't believe we have yet been introduced. Who are you? Create character. <gasps> nice. Oh, this seems like a game I could really, really get into. Oh. Scholar, soldier, or a scout. Interesting. Yeah. Scholar, obviously, intellectual perception. Soldier. Those. And scout, stamina, and agility. Interesting. I am curious how... Oh, you can just make your own. You can make your can class up. Oh, and you can randomize, too. Oh, interesting. I, I would much prefer to be a scholar, but I will put the emphasis more on strength, and we'll take down some stamina, and put it back on intellect. So intellect is buffed, perception is buffed. Here you can create the first member of your party. If you have not played pioneers before and unsure which profession to choose, then the scout is a safe bet to take. Ah, ha, ha. Hmm. I don't think I'll go with that. Oh, Chevy Warren. Oh, James Edmund Cl Edmund Clark. Douglas Corey, Hatfield Barlow, how about Tal Joff? Yeah, yeah, Ta Tal Joff. Nope, I don't like that. Something else. Try something else. Let's go. John Bushnell. Skills. Oh. Whoa, there's so much. Holy crap. Okay, light arms, fishing, cooking. Fishing doesn't... It's just fishing. Ability to cook food for increased nutritional value. Botany. Ability to correctly identify plants and herbs. Medical or construction. How many skills do I get? Can I assign a skill? Oh. You're gonna be botany. Construction and botany. Because look at that. Look at that scholar. Oh, no. I'll keep assigning a skill. Oh, interesting. So, construction, botany. Let's get you... Like, I want to be able to eat. I think that's a good idea. 
After briefly introducing yourselves, the captain is clearly delighted to meet you. Excellent, Mr. Bushnell. Glad to have a man with such notable skills on the board. Having not been properly introduced earlier, Dakota says, Every accomplishment starts with the decision to try. May the spirits bless you. Moresby seems to pay little attention to you and instead turns to the captain to ask about their voyage. Tell me, captain, how long till we reach Odlin? Olden. The land is close, it must be. The wind has been generous, and should it stay that way, we mustn't be further than a week, he replies. What worries me is the storm ahead. I had great confidence that we could go past it, but it seems to be headed straight at us. After a brief pause, he adds, the last leg of the journey might get choppy. Moresby and yourself look ahead of the ship and see a dark storm cloud approaching in the distance. To your surprise, you find the storm is moving in rather quickly. Dakota has walked further back the ship and is repeatedly saying something to himself. All of a sudden, everything goes quiet for a brief moment and a thunderous clap can be heard, not a second after the flash. Did you see that? Says Moresby rather excitedly as he continues. This is unlike any storm I've ever seen, and I've seen a few in my day. Interesting. My goodness. Is that the mast? Is the ship going down? First drops of rain can be heard bouncing against the thick cloth of the sails above their heads. The storm is closing in at an ever-increasing pace, and after a short while, the rain becomes drowningly and dense. The ship creaks violently as she moves up and down and crashes into the oncoming waves. The captain yells, hold on to your hats and pipes, everybody. Grabbing their hats, everybody rushes, search, rushingly searches something to hold on to. Dakota has returned from the back of the ship to join the group. A sudden strong breeze rips the hat off of Moresby. My hat, he explains. Captain, now with a completely stern face, barely managed to hold onto the keel. The ship is completely under the storm cloud, and the hull creaks vehemently. Bolts of lightning hit the ocean all around the ship. All of a sudden, the loud crack can be heard. Several strong waves hit the ship from the side, cracking the skull. The chaplain filling with water is no longer controllable. In a last desperation, the captain yells, I can't keep her steady much longer. We're sinking. Abandon ship, everybody. Oh man, what an adventure. Is that a person laying in, like, logs? Boards? You jump ship and land in what feels like freezing water. The dense rain splashing on the sea and cracking of the sinking ship makes hearing anything almost an impossible task. But you faintly hear your name being called. So you look around, and as the constant flash of, of lightning illuminates the dark sea, you notice Dakota hanging onto a piece of the side of the ship, waving and yelling at you. You swim towards him and eventually manage to grab and climb onto the drifting piece of wood. As morning arrives, bringing daylight and warmth of spring, you barely manage to keep your eyes open just long enough to find the sea calm and no sign of last night's distress. Dakota has reached around you with all of his strength, keeps you from slipping off the piece of wood. From the corner of your eye, you can make out what seems like land in the distance before losing consciousness. You come to and find yourself on firm ground inside a fire, giving you warmth you so desperately need. Dakota is kneeling on the ground beside you, looking over you and says, Mr. Bushill, wake up. It is Dakota. Spirits have been kind, and storm spared us. Mr. Bushnell was unwell. Dakota went off to procure herbs. You appear better. These are strong herbs. Dakota has something. Dakota, I owe my life to that man. Had I been washed up on the shore, separated from his knowledge of approach to medicine, I would have never survived. Since that storm is, has often vexed me how I am ever going to replay him for his good. I would like to play through the tutorial. I have time for that. Mm. Actually, yes, for me. Enjoy your snacks, everybody. Dakota. There are things from ship on the beach, so Dakota went and collected them. Dang, not reading fast enough. Gotta read faster. On the right, there's a list of actions the currently selected character, John Bushnell, can perform based on current location, state, and items equipped. You can also right-click on map and objects to bring up the contextual action menu. Examine the campsite and pick up items. I'm right next to the ocean. There's not that much. Showcase. Okay. Oh. That's super interesting. Examine the campsite, pick up... Oh, so this... Campsite... Oh. Okay, take them all. Okay. Actions. I'm well-rested, I don't need to... Oh, man, look at all these. Holy cow. 
party. Uh, quickly switch between characters plus the tab key. There's no other characters. Drink? Oh, interesting. That's tough to read. Cancel. Maybe that was drink. I hope that wasn't drink. Was that drink? No. Oh, yeah, it was. That was drink. End turn. Did I end turn? You can now access your bad inventory by pressing the I key or clicking on the backpack icon on the sidebar. Man, this is super complicated, which is cool. I'm totally down for it. But, like, I'm impressed. Uh, we should now journey hours old and go to things not far. Please call me as a professional. Sure. How do I, how do I maneuver? Uh, leave camp. Let's go to shows the way. Oh, interesting. So then I have these actions. Move, enter camp, leave camp, craft. Oh, crafting hasn't been implemented? Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, there might be enemies eventually. There's all my skills. There's my s stats and skills. Move. One. Ah. Your character is out of moves. To continue traveling, end the current turn by right-clicking, clicking the end turn button on the right button or pressing E. So, like, semi-turn-based. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to leave camp, so I leave camp. Move. Okay, two moves left. One move left. Spring second. 1500. End turn. Oh, and it's the next day then. One. There's that. Okay, I gotta keep following his path, so now we need to end turn. Oh, and there's our food going down. One, two. Follow Dakota's path. Or, is that Dakota? Oh, there we go. This dense forest is blocking the path. Mr. Bushnell should use the axe to make his way. Pioneer's gear panel shows the currently selected item. Actions available for the item can be accessed by right-clicking on the icon in the inventory window. Some action it can also be accessed when right-clicking an object or tile in the game. Select the axe and use it to cut down the forest in front of you. What are we considering in front of me? The way I'm facing, or what's north? Um... Yeah, crafting's not implemented. I... It was this. Wait. Oh, there it is. Close. Uh... Can I just get... Yeah. Cut down trees. Remember, this is a turn-based game. To complete any work, you need to end the turn. Number of turns required to finish the job is displayed at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Completed in three turns. So end turn. End turn, end turn. Oh. Follow me, Mr. Bushnell. So can I move? Move three turns left. So there's one, there's two, there's three. Super interesting. End turn. Move over there. There. And there. Now we should rest and find something to eat, and Mr. Bushnell should go and collect some berries, and Dakota will set up camp right here. You can pick up berries from bushes to highlight all uh, the nearby resources. You can pick up, hold down the control key. Once you locate the berries, move there and right-click on the bush and select show. From the context menu, you can pick them up with the berries. Okay, so end turn. Oh. Right-click, bush, take. All. All? Can I... Uh, now that you have picked up the berries, take them back to Dakota. Enter the campsite. Simply drop the berries from your inventory. Force us to go back... Oh! Hey, hey, why, why'd you go down there? Enter camp. Show campsite. Uh, press I. Take the... Oh, that's my backpack? No, this is berries. There it is. Rest now, Mr. Bushnell, then we can continue on the journey. Rest. One turn. 
Okay. To rest, to rest, either choose the option from the actions or press the R key. Okay, I just did. No, no! Oh no. Oh dear god. Okay, so we put our stuff in. We rested. There it is. I drink 2.5 units. After trekking towards Auden for a few days, we decided to take a little break. Except hand to gather our strength for the final leg of the journey. We wandered. Whatever happened to Mr. Moresby and the captain? Were they taken by the sea or were they washed up somewhere else along the coast? Only time will tell. We can now continue our journey. Please follow Mr. Bushnell. We got it. Leave camp. We're moving. One, two, three. Rest. 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 And turn. Move. Set forth, brave pilgrim. Oh, he came back down here. Okay, I need to end turn. Go down here. He went off to the right slightly. There it is, rest. We're going over here. Going up to the right. End turn. This is, this is a very unique piece of gameplay. A wolf path going east from here. To go to things we should not go that way. Mr. Bushnell should lead and find a way around. Unless your path is blocked, you may have to find a different route. You may have to backtrack and go in a whole different direction. Where, where's our direction? Okay, so we shouldn't continue up. So we should go back and turn. We're going back this way. How about south? There's that. Off to the right. Uh, how about down here? Ah, we can go up here. Rest, there we go. Find a way east, away from the wolf path. Wait, 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 wait. We want to go east. Shouldn't we go up through there? I guess. Maybe? I'm confused slightly as to how this is supposed to go. Hmm. We shall see. Because I'm, pr I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go. There's a hawk. Can I just, like, carve my way through the forest? Maybe forest, wood? Can I take the wood? No. What about this one? Can I chop that? Hover over that? No, I guess not. What about that forest? I know I'm wandering right now, and I don't mean to be. I want to find a way through, but I don't quite know which way to go. So I'm curious. I hope everybody's enjoying their snacks. I certainly am. I actually couldn't be, it's so bad of me to eat on camera. But I guess in some respects it's kind of unique-ish. Okay. Chorus. I want to chop it. Wait, so what's in my inventory? We got this. Cut down trees. Okay. Because it wasn't equipped, I wasn't allowed to. Three turns, so... Uh, oh. Oh, you swing the axe and hit the tree a couple of times when all of a sudden the half breaks, the seawater must have softened and you forced to stop working and throw the broken tool away. Well, that sucks. It sucks a lot. Um, I thought we were going to have that tool to be able to use it. So instead of going east to go up and through, I think the game is actually telling me I need to go down here. I guess. I don't know. I want to make it to, to old, old, old Stone or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah, the game the game's it's got a path. It's probably just gonna go up and around. Maybe. What's off to the east here? Oh there it is. Uh you should are starting to deplete your energy and should rest for a couple of turns. Fatigue, health decrease while energy bar. Ah. 
The suppression is very notably found by saying you're outside Old End and Dakota thinks we made the journey. Spirits have been with us. Nice! Nice, now we're going north. Now, as we neared Olden, I looked at my ragged clothes, my battered body, and realized my will is strong. This had all been a test and exercise to become a more stalwart man. I was grateful for the ordeal. I woke in a bed at the town doctor's house without the faintest idea as to how I got there. My body still ached, but I felt full of energy, and something called for the unknown. I got up and wandered out the door. Nice! So we made it to the town. That's actually really cool. That's a great place to stop for us today because the, we got an introduction to the mechanics. We at least understand kind of the worldview, the idea of like what's going on, the inspiration of the new world. That 1500s vibe, I guess. <laughs> Super interesting. So let me know what you thought of it. I would be glad to play more. I'd be happy to. The game is very unique and interesting. Um, so let me know. Let me, please let me know down in the comments. I'm going to leave the, uh, the video also on the creators page on itch.io and always 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 the link is down below if you want to go play the game for yourself it is free it's out there go try it um because it's unique it's different it's fun um there i think there's a few more choices that you might be able to make there kind of in what you're doing so without further ado thank you for watching and i'll catch you in another episode or video or something Bye bye